In today's video, I'm going to be completely rescaping this 160 litre or 42 gallon fancy goldfish tank to create a simple yet effective goldfish friendly aquascape. So this current scape was only set up about three months ago and have got a video on that setup process where I do show everything in detail from adding the substrate, the filtration, hardscape and planting and also in that video I do go into detail on exactly why I made the choices I did with all of that so if you're interested in seeing that I will put a link in the description and I'll also put a card up in the top right hand corner and although since that setup things have generally been doing really well in particular the goldfish Mr Moore, Marco and Polo have been doing great there are a couple of things that are not going so well. Firstly, I have been struggling a bit with algae, mainly brown diatom algae on things like the glass, hardscape and plant leaves, but also a little bit of string algae and black beard algae. And I believe this is due to excess lighting. And although I do think the algae is beginning to subside, it is something that I'm going to be taking into consideration with the new setup. The second issue I've got with this current setup is that the Mopani wood is still leaching tannins. Not a massive problem because I do do pretty large weekly water changes, but it is still a bit annoying when the water starts to sort of go that tan colour towards the end of the week. Also, I'm finding with the Mopani wood being so big, it seems to be creating anaerobic conditions underneath the wood, where there's obviously no flow getting to the point where when I take the wood out to do a thorough gravel vac, underneath where the wood has been is all black, which is not good and is not what I want. And is why one of the first things I will be getting rid of is that big piece of Mopani wood. Things I am happy with though and won't be changing include the substrate. I'm very happy with that. It's the perfect size as the grain size is big enough that it can be easily gravel backed without being sucked up. But it's fine enough for sinking food to sit on the top of it and not sink into it, which is what can happen with more coarse gravel. I'm also very happy with the filtration, the Fluval 207 and the Aquarium Co-op Medium Sponge Filter. Both seem to be working well. So I think as far as the filtration goes, that will be staying the same. But what I might do is to just maybe move things around a little bit to free up a bit more space. But more on that later. The only other thing that I was thinking about getting rid of is the Crinum calamastradum in that back left hand corner there. Because it does seem to be getting a lot of algae growing on it. Plus, if I was to get rid of that, I could turn the lighting down. Because the only reason I've got the light set to the level I currently have them at is for that plant, which does require medium to high lighting. However, it has finally started to grow and I don't think I can bring myself to get rid of it. So yeah, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to have to deal with the algae growing excess light in a different way. And I've got a plan, but more on that later. For now though, let's get the Mopani wood out, clean off as much of the diatom algae as I can, reposition the filtration and then we can get on with the new and improved goldfish atmosphere. Okay, so I went a bit further than I was intending there. The Mopani wood is out. I've also moved the intake of the canister filter over to that back left-hand corner next to the outlet and also adjusted the direction of the flow for better water circulation. Also, I've moved the sponge filter into that back right-hand corner, scrubbed all the algae off, which a toothbrush came in very handy for. And you may have also noticed that I did take out the crinum. Still not 100% sure that was the right call, it just sort of happened, but it's gone now, so that's that. By doing that though, I ended up having to do a major gravel vat and water change to remove the root tabs and the nutrients that was released into the water column. That being said though, we've now got a nice clean canvas ready for the new scape. And for that new scape, instead of using wood for the hardscape, I want to go for more of a simple rock scape. And these are the rocks here that I shall be using, which are all nice, round, smooth river rocks, which I think is important for fancy goldfish, as you don't want anything too sharp. They could potentially hurt themselves on. 
They've also all been soap scrubbed and rinsed off and so are all ready to use. Also, instead of using Anubius, which I used in the previous gate, which is prone to algae growing on it, I'm going to be using Java Fern instead, which in preparation I have attached to a small rock using Instant Contact Cyano Aquilate Super Glue, which is completely fish, shrimp, snail and plant safe. And the reason I am able to do this is because Java Fern, like Anubius, is an epiphyte, which means it pulls all of its nutrients from the water column rather than the substrate. Also, like Anubius, Java Fern is able to withstand being destroyed or eaten by the goldfish, which is not the case with a lot of plants. So I think what the plan is now, I'm going to use some tape to mark out the dimensions of the goldfish tank on this table. Then I can have a bit of a play around with the rocks, decide on a skate, how I'm going to want to position them, all of that, and then I can put them into the tank once I've decided on a layout. Okay, so I'm happy with what we've got going on here. As you can see, I put that intake sponge in the back right-hand corner there to represent the sponge filter that is currently already in the tank. But yeah, really pleased with that. Definitely think the Java Fern finishes it off nicely. So yeah, let's get it in. Okay, nice. That is looking even better than I imagined. And the skate is close to completion, but I do have one more plant that I want to add. And that is Elodia, which I want to use as a floating plant, much like I did in my ecosystem tank setup. And this is going to do a couple of things. Firstly, it's going to provide some shade and therefore reduce the amount of light getting down into the tank and causing algae. Secondly, with it being a fast growing stem plant, it's going to help with nutrient reduction and therefore helping to keep the water chemistry in check. Thirdly, it's going to be a tasty and healthy snack for the goldfish. And finally, it just looks nice floating around doing its thing. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this new setup. Is it better than the old one? I think so. That being said though, that is going to bring us to the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.